Welcome back, Legendary Potato here, and today I'm going to be going through the top 5 worst mobs in Minecraft. That's right, top 5 worst mobs in Minecraft. You've probably seen these mobs before, and you're probably like, wow, I really don't like that mob, or you probably forgot it existed, or probably some other third thing. So, I'm going to be going over the top 5 mobs that are just the worst. I don't know why they exist in this game, and well, this is to my opinion, so if you don't agree, well, I, I don't care, this is my list. So let's get right into the video, of course. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoy all this sort of good stuff, but let's get into it here let's start off with the first one which is the polar bear oh yes the polar bear the mob that nobody asked for and nobody really ever cared about so the thing is about the polar bear it doesn't really drop any if you kill this mob actually let's make sure mob loot's on whoop i did get a sword there uh, but if we go and kill the mob uh it really doesn't drop anything useful at all whatsoever and so let's see some mob loot is somewhere down here okay mob loot's on uh but they don't drop anything really that you can use uh that is more important than anything else they drop like fish i think they might drop leather but like they drop fish that's about it it's kind of useless oh yeah just different types of fish uh so honestly, it's not even useful killing these guys. These guys don't provide anything useful at all. They're just kind of there. They exist. Sometimes they attack you. Sometimes they don't. And honestly, that I don't understand why they exist. I don't think anyone really ever wanted them. I don't think anybody really cares about them that much. And when you see them spawn, it's not like it's anything amazing, of course. But that's my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think of the polar bear down in the comments section. But personally, I don't like these guys. They're not that great. They're not a great mob. Uh, definitely um, not one of the best things that's come to Minecraft for sure. So let's move on to the next one here. So we got tons of fish around the ground. Uh, so it's going to be the llama. Oh, that's baby llama. Okay, baby llama is okay. But big llama? Hey, there we go. Big llama. So we got two baby ones in a row. Um... So llamas. Llamas are a cool mob. They don't really do anything though. You can put carpets on them. It's kind of a cool thing. Let's say we put a black carpet on. Like, uh, oh wait a minute. Oh, I smacked him. Wait, how do you put the carpet on? I don't even remember how you put the carpet on because I never uh, do anything with llamas. But you can tame a llama and they have a bunch of health. You can put chests on the llama. So they're kind of cool, but they're useless. You can't control them. You can't like do anything. Like, if you can't control them, what's the point of taking them with you, right? Uh, but they're cool. They're a little bit different from a horse or a mule or a donkey. Uh, but kind of a little bit more useless in a way. But also more customizable. So, honestly, I think they only added llamas because people asked for llamas. And people are like, yeah, hey, we want llamas in the game. Llamas in the game now. And, honestly, does anyone really care that much anymore? I don't think so. But, hey, they're kind of a cool mob sometimes. They have... I don't know. Probably not. I don't think so. I'm trying to justify llamas, but I can't. Uh, I don't know. They were a good idea, uh, but I guess in practice, you know, they're, they're not really that great. So let's move on uh, to the next one. We're running out of space here. I keep picking up fish, uh, which is going to be the endermite. So endermites are a very rare mob. Uh, you only find them when you ender pearl. There's a small chance when you ender pearl, you bump into an endermite. It'll spawn uh, from the ender pearl. Uh, and so it happens occasionally, and it's usually just kind of an annoyance when it happens. Um, so it's just kind of a thing that we can kill the endermite with the ender pearls. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's the thing you can do. You can get an endermite that occasionally spawns, and it's kind of like a silverfish. It literally is just like taking the silverfish uh, model and then just kind of made a purple smaller version of it. So as you can see, um, so it's not even like it's unique in its own way. I mean, we have the silverfish, so it's like a purple silverfish. Um, that doesn't go inside the stone blocks and since it's rare it's just kind of that rare occurrence that's kind of a little bit annoying and I don't know this mob it's kind of something you forget about until you happen to run into it or if you happen to be running along the spawn eggs then you'd be like oh yeah that's right there's endemites in this game uh, chances are you probably don't remember them they need some more purpose in this game at least uh, I think so I don't know maybe you could see them in the end or something I don't really know maybe they could like spawn in groups wouldn't that be cool if you could see these guys more but you'll hardly ever see them in a normal survival situation um, so that's endemite there honestly uh, they were a good idea. Why is it freaking out there? That was kind of weird. Look at that. The endomite. Do it again. Wait, is it going to break dance? Maybe it'll do it again later. But yeah, endomite. It was a good idea and didn't really turn out to... Oh, there it is. There it is again. That's great. That's a great mob. Um, so let's move on to the next one, which is the parrot. So I remember seeing this mob when it was like uh, being hinted at and stuff, and I was not excited at all. It's like, oh, okay. It's a parrot. What does it do? And the answer to that question is nothing. It really does nothing. You can put it on your shoulder and it falls off quite a lot. You can give them seeds. Seeds are pretty cool. 
Uh, so it eventually you can tame it. You can put it on your shoulder. I think it'll go on my shoulder or something. Maybe. I don't even know. I've never once used one of these guys. And there's no reason to. Maybe if they went and like attacked a mob or something. I don't even think they'd do that. But if they did do that. How cool would that be? Just like, hey, yeah, you got one of these guys that, like, goes in defense. Yeah, I keep picking up stupid stuff. Um, but, like, imagine if one of these guys, like, protected you. Like, you could, uh, oh, he's on my shoulder. I think he is. Hey. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's so, like, imagine if you could, like, tell the parrot to go attack something for you. Just like, hey, go attack the sheep over there. And then it would just, like, start attacking it. I think that would be really cool. But parrot just kind of just sticks around. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of cool to have, like, a little parrot friend, I guess. But... I don't know. I don't see the point of this mob. I don't know why it was added. I don't know who wanted this mob. Uh, but if it had something cool and unique about it, it would be really cool. But it drops feathers, and that's it. Like, no cool drops, no cool features. It's just a mob that exists. It's like a filler mob, uh, which at least I feel like is the same uh, with the polar bear, same with the llama. Uh, those two seem to be filler mobs for me personally as well. Don't understand. There's not really any sort of reason to uh, understand why they're even in the game, other than just fill the game with more mobs, as people ask. But I think it's quality over quantity, at least if you ask me. So let's go into the last one here, which of course is going to be the bat. That's right, the bat. So bats, all they do is they spawn in caves and they make the cave spooky. That's it. These guys don't drop anything, no experience, nothing. These guys drop absolutely nothing in the game at all. What's the point of them existing? I don't really know. They exist. They're spooky, I guess. They're a bat. Um, but it would be cool if, like, hey, you could get a bat drop and, like, it would drop some sort of, like, uh, bat wing or something. Or, uh, I don't know. What else could a bat drop, right? I don't know. Something. Something so it's helpful. I don't know. Like, it would be cool to just find a bat and be like, ooh, I could use a bat for this thing or this thing. But no, every single time you run into a bat, uh, what do you think of? You think, oh, cool, there's a bat. Okay, I don't really care. Uh, but imagine if the bat had some more deeper purpose going on with it. Let's say uh, it drops something rare. It drops something cool they could get. You could try and shoot them and get some really uh, cool stuff from them. Or maybe they could be useful for finding something because bats uh, can like hear. The, the, that's how they see they're like hearing and stuff. It's kind of weird. Bats are strange. I don't know. Like something. The bat needs something. And the same with all these other mobs too. Like all of these need something to you know make them stand out from the rest. Because right now. I'm not impressed with any of these. Polar bear, nothing. Drops fish. Taxi sometimes. Eh, you know, have tons of things like that. Don't really care. Llamas, don't really do anything. You can put a carpet on them. You can't even ride them. So that kind of takes that out of the question. You can put a chest on them too, but you can do the same thing with the donkey. You can get an endermite when you use your enderpearl. It's like, oh, okay, rare, don't really care. I don't know. Maybe you could use it in like an adventure map or a creative map. I don't know. As a, like a custom mob. I don't even know. But that's the thing. That's an end of my parrots. You could tame them. They fly. They're kind of cute. That's it. But with that said, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think of these mobs, of course. But I guess an honorable mention as well uh, probably has to go uh, to the Snow Golem. So this is one that doesn't even have a spawn egg. I felt like this one's worth mentioning just really quickly. Uh, it is still kind of a cool mob. People seem to forget about this one. But it's still cool. I kind of like the Snow Golem for being unique. Uh, that was an honorable mention I wanted to mention really quick. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy the video, of course, make sure you do leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let me know which one was your least favorite down in the comments. Or if I missed a mob that you think is terrible and you want to go ahead and rant about it in like four long paragraphs, go ahead and let me know. I would love to see a comment like that. If anyone leaves a comment like that, you get instant pin. All right. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. So have a good one, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.